Okay, time to pick a destination. After reading the mission briefings and taking everything into account, I think we are going to go with the Da Vinci Studio first. This is the year 1488. And hopefully, the jump button will take us there. We got a nice little flyby. That aspect of the game is rather mist-like, isn't it? Ooh. And the music is treating us well, too. Okay. I wonder if we're ever gonna go outdoors. It looked like there was a courtyard around the place. We can recall whenever we like. Now, the manual, neither the manual nor the interface said anything about this being an energy meter. So I think that might just be like an alert light. Well, the ability to look around is quite nice. Oh, now I can see that there's a giant hole in the middle here. See, it is nice. All right, nothing of interest here. We have some, some art. We have a door, which we can apparently interact with. Ah, some sort of machinery. What does this say? Klavstra Sversum? I'm taking, I'm going to interpret V's as U's. Sursum claustra liberare. That one is the most familiar word so far. Deorsum. Oh. Okay. Does that mean, so that means free and this one might mean like clamped? Dorsum is, dorsal means this side, the upper side, doesn't it? Of something? And I'm not sure what that means. Sur, some sur. Sur is French for above. Or on. Yeah, dorsum is like the, the, the upper surface of something. So maybe that's, the, it's actually the lower surface of something? I don't know. I don't know if we, we can turn these now, but I don't know if we want to mess with them yet. Hopefully I can start to get more of a sense for what walking somewhere will do. I'm not sure whether we're going to walk into a wall or walk around a room, you know? But it seems that it seems weird that that dorsal would be on the bottom. Exactly. Walk and turn. Walk and turn. So what have we here? Ah. Temporal anachronism detected within immediate vicinity. Use evidence chip to locate. Okay, let's do it. I think how we do this from the manual is we select the chip, we activate it, we hit locate. Scan mode activated, then we can hover over stuff. I don't know if clicking does anything. I don't know if it necessarily means that the evidence is on the screen, or if it's just nearby. <laughs> Sourcem was the other word, yes. This is as far as we can go. 
I'm unclear about whether this is the other side of what we looked at earlier. Where was that machinery? Is that it there? We always get the beep when we're here. So maybe we even need to be more specific. Let's read the description, just in case. That doesn't really help us. Even though the message is from beloved future Gage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. We might need to come back and try this again. Unless it's up. No, because we only get the beep when we look here. I'm assuming review doesn't help us. No. Any suggestions? So far, get nothing. Okay. I'm thinking about words. Sewer like sewer mountain surface. Yeah, that would be consistent with the etymology I mentioned. Unless dorsal is bottom. But I thought dorsal was top. So that sounds to me like the door is locked. Dorsal fin is on the back of a creature, yeah. Maybe it's up and back, maybe. Well, gosh. Manual temporal anachronism scan mode activated. I'm really expecting something to come of this. Forward and backtrack like the selenet gauge maze. Oh, wait, maybe if we play with the machine and come back here, we can reveal something. Let's go for clamped. Nothing happening? How about free? Okay, source them. Hard to tell whether that was anything. And that just seemed to restart the music. bad my AI can't give me any information on what this is. Yeah, there really is no AI so far. And there's been no sign of Arthur. Unless... No. That's an hourglass that comes that shows up there. Hmm... So, I think we've pretty much fully explored here. How long since you saved time? I think since close to before we jumped. Which is not really that long ago. But what the hey. Uh, you mean since we played it or since Gage did it in the universe or what? since the last game in the story. Uh, it seems to be that we were transported into the future by about 10 years from 
shortly after we arrested Elliot Sinclair. Alrighty. Still nothing here. Let's play a little more with the machine and then I think we'll just jump somewhere else if we have to. Nothing up there, anything down here? A wheel! Hmm. Looking is serving us well. They phased out the AI in that short of time, huh? Maybe. Okay, well, can we liberare the wheel? You know you wanted to be interactive. How about sourcing the wheel? Now there's a left arrow? Aha. A long turn. I wonder if we did anything. Did we raise a floor? Ooh. Is it an elevator? I wonder how realistic the studio is, anyway. This is pretty impressive architecture for half a millennium ago, plus some. Okay, what have we there? Look down. Ah. We can go in here now. A candle. And this kind of looks like another wheel. I don't know if I get it. On top of a candle. What's the deal with this? Don't suppose we unlocked the door. Maybe that's how you lower yourself on this elevator? Yeah. All right, what about our portrait friend? Let's see if we can hit the evidence chip again. Can't think of why the situation would be any different. in the candle. Maybe someday I'll get used to these controls. Come on, evidence. You know you're the candle. Anything else we can do with this elevator? Because it is an elevator. So... We did that and then we turn the wheel. What if we do this? Do we need to set the direction it goes up and down? And then we can make it free.
Or maybe we could bring it even higher than it was. But first of all, I want to see if we can get in there and turn the wheel. Having done that. It looks like that's not going to happen. Again, no ability to turn the wheel there. And we could turn it back this way. What effect does that have? That locks it again. We can turn it back to the right, which will presumably make it descend. So what if we do this and this? I think that means fixed and that means open, but what if it means we can use the inner wheel instead of the outer wheel? That would be so cool. isn't a wheel as far as I can see. So I think we have to visit another time then. I'm out of ideas. All right, one more try at the evidence game, then we'll head out. It wouldn't just be nowhere, right? Unless it was cloaked. It's an easel. We can't go any further forward than this. Unless there's a path I haven't been seeing or something. I don't think so, though. Well, someday we will know. Alright, let's equip our jumping bow chip. I think that's the portrait of a musician that Da Vinci painted. Would make sense, I guess. Alright. Um... Let's do the Farmstein lab next then, since it should be free of people as well. Here goes. Oh, that's right. We're in orbit of Saturn. You have to have something free like that. Oh, hi, Katie. You gave way that you went away by saying that you'd return. Oh, hell. Warning, atmospheric oxygen level zero, switching to emergency oxygen reserved. Oh, we have an emergency oxygen reserve. That's good. Alert. Zero-G environment. Propulsion source required for movement. So we're not going to be able to move? That's what it's looking like. We were expected to go on this mission with no propulsion? We can't even look around. You'd think that Da Vinci's lab might have some propulsion. Unless we keep it at home. All right, forget this. We're going. We're going someplace else. Let's go to Gayard, Chateau Gayard, Chateau Gayard. Oh no, I don't want to go to the past on Earth because what if I can't breathe? Better go to another planet. I'll be able to breathe there. I didn't think it through. It is a space station. Yeah. All right. Are we going on top of a castle turret? Uh. Hi. You don't see nothing, man. Hello. I took care of him. Great. Solves that problem for us. 
Wonder who was so good as to come to our aid. We could be sad, but you know, he's human. He doesn't count as an animal. There he is. What do I get? Free arrow? <gasps> we get something in our inventory? Yeah. Well, what are we going to use this bloody arrow for? Okay, that's all we can do with him. Uh, is that our entire <laughs> purview? Humans are very animals. That's a good Steve quote, lol. Which quote did you mean? Did you mean, oh, he's dead, it's fine? Not exactly ver verbose. But I try to limit my words. But he lived a good life. He got to see a future person before he died. That's pretty cool. Right. Wow, Steve's so speaking in a different accent. More, please. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've tried to say Gaillard this, this stream. <laughs> We've already had a brief discussion about your accents, Katie. Namely, that you don't know what they are until they occur. Steve should do my favorite voice, but he probably won't. I don't know if that nationality is on the menu. At least in this game. Oh, look. A downward spiral. I just want to stop and congratulate Windows on not having combusted into flames so, uh, to this point. Well done, Windows. Yes, my accents are wild and untamable. All right, I guess we head down then. I don't know if we were missing something else up here, but hey, spirals, hard to resist that. What is this, channel wood? And we were able to stop halfway down? Oh, less than halfway down. We do love spirals. Human presence detected 10 meters ahead. Aw, oh, man. That means we can't go down there. I guess we should... Save? Using the most gra grateful, gracious, grateful, elegant of interfaces. I can cloak, but I can't move while cloaked. So that's not going to work. Uh, since we just saved, let's see what happened, shall we? In the first game, if you encountered a human directly, and they weren't immediately killed, I guess, that was a game over. So presumably, this will be a game over. I don't expect the game to have advanced. Ten meters ahead. I guess that's a long way when you're going down a spiral staircase. Wait, wait, wait. What if we, we haven't been caught? Can we engage the cloak right now? Maybe they're looking away from us. You are currently cloaked. Right. Oh. But we can't even... We can't so much as look up while cloaked. Thanks, interface. So much, those vi so much for those video cameras that are on us all the time, which we are presumably operating using the built-in interface in the jumpsuit. So I guess that means that this is like the hallways of the science center. That's pretty cool. There's a torch to our left. There's a torch ahead of us. Okay, let's move ahead. Let's risk it. Oh. There's another knight. Apparently we're extremely stealthy and he didn't hear us coming. And the sound of the cloak activating, it makes no sound. He looks kind of like he has an arrow in him, but I think he's just holding a spear. What are we you're just going to throw the arrow at him? It seems like it should be part of our duty not to kill people from the past if we're researching the past and attempting to be covert. What is he doing? That nice job is to just stare at a door all day. <laughs> he's holding a morning star? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's... Um, Oh. You shall not flee now. Ugh. 
Agent 5's death registered at 10.05 a.m. on 30061204. Well, we get these good old sketches again. Look at that art. But there was no record of him hitting us with the thing. You know who'd know? Tom would know. Tom probably would know. And our first evaluation, zero points, period. Look at all those categories, though. Critical evidence, supporting evidence, puzzle solved, out of 20. I guess that means in the game, though, right? The next of kin have been notified. Who is our next of kin? Agent 3? Gage Blackwood, Time Lawyer. Okay, so I guess we can't go... Uh... We can't... It could be that we can't turn to face the human. Or maybe we just lingered too long. That could have been it. So, let's go this way. Oh, there's a door here too. That's not good. Get out of there! Yeah, we made it. Uh-oh. What? The... Of... In... Earth... We can't go back up the stairs? Is that what I'm seeing? Why can't we go back up the stairs? That implies that there is a way out of this. So we can cloak, but we can't uncloak. Also, our inventory and our biochip list are now one. This is a simple arrow with a wrought iron tip. I can spell. An experimental emblem. That's a cool word. Hey, we're just talking about spirals, so I don't really blame you. I can spell. She has magic. And arrow. No, I guess not. Maybe we just need to wait him out with the cloak. How long should we give it? Because we were cloaked for a while last time. What if the night is evidence? Activate. All right, let's time this. You are currently cloaked. You are currently cloaked. Yeah, what is he doing? Now that we now we know there's a door behind us as well. So he's just down here between two doors. He's the god of two doors. And does he have a looping video sequence here? It appears to be a loop. What if we were able to distract him with some kind of noise? A loop. Can we do other things while cloaked? No, we're just stuck. We can't interact with him either, of course. Okay. So we have to deactivate it. Hey, we got out. Okay. Well, not everything means death instantly, so let's go here. We can't, ah. Hmm. This guy just, it's sort of unintuitive when you, uh, how to rouse him. So activate the cloak. Can we tap on the door while cloaked? No, because that would mean that we would have to move. And now that we're down here, once again, we cannot go anywhere at all. We're going to have to do something with this knight. I think, once again, that means... Look around right before clock. Uh, what are you saying? 
I think I think this means we're gonna have to go to the fourth location. Because I've got nothing. You can look up. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see. That can get us up the stairwell. Nicely done. Okay. Maybe you can cut a rope or something, I don't know. Let's head back upstairs then. Wait, what am I seeing here? Oh! I thought I might need to look around more. I guess there are other pathways we can go through here. Another door. So this is the one third of the way up door. Okay, I think Cloak is the biochip I do want equipped at this point. Man, you have to look up to go up the stairs. Okay. Another passageway. Another door. And another door. So this is two thirds of the way up. What do we get? Nothing there. A door that can be exited. Do you look up to go upstairs? I don't think I, I think I look at the stairs. I mean, I might look up to see up the stairs before I look down to the stairs to step on them. But maybe that would have been too complicated for a gamer. The music stopped. We just walked around a, not a turret. What are these things called? Just a tower maybe? We are at the time before the siege mentioned in the mission briefing, aren't we? But we got this lovely mist-like ambience. Exactly. Something we can use. Grappling hook? We can use that everywhere. Is this a latrine? Did someone leave a grappling hook on the latrine? Alrighty. Is that a person way over there? Maybe. We're at the final days of the siege? Yes, I thought it was something like that. Sometime when we would witness, we'd stand to be able to witness the events that we were supposed to be researching. The only thing that can stifle Gage Blackwood in this game is barrels. Or just any objects on the ground. It's intense. You hate when you accidentally leave your grappling hook on the latrine. Somebody might. Hey, we can go back in there if we want, but I think we'll just creep along this way. We're getting footsteps this time. Another latrine. And then you're like, Siri, ping my grappling hook. Yeah, that phrase is all the rage these days. Outward view. Those flags look very animated by hand. Can't go out there. This is like a breached castle wall. And it's like, searching for Sir Knight's grappling hook. I'm on it. Just a moment. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. For more information, open the home map. And you could be like, well, Siri, it's the year 1200. 1204. You might need to give it a few more hours. Is that a human over there? Why do things look like humans? I don't think it does look like it. It's fine. There's a siege in progress here, but whatever. Will we die if we walk one step forward? Hi! I'm Gage! We can't go forward here? Oh, that was destroyed. I see. We can go here, though. Ooh, we're jumping down! 
that might mean... Ah. We have a little more purview here. New music. That might mean that we're not going back up. Everything to this point might just have been an introduction to this place. The ground. Things look like humans because human brains are meant to find things that look like humans. What kinds of things? Of course you won't. They already attacked that part and military strikes the same wall twice. Never strikes. <laughs> That's the old wives' tale, at least. Okay. So this is where we hit... Oh, there's a ladder back there, too. Maybe we can go up. Unless we can't reach the ladder because of the barrels. It seems that is true. We can't. I'm going to shut up and wish I had more tea. You're on your own. You don't have to shut up. I need your non-artificial intelligence. Another door we could open. We can't look up or down from this location. See this? See the interface? That's what it's telling us. Uh-oh. We can't activate the cloak. Goodness knows I'm trying. Look at those scientists running through that hallway. Oh, the cloak activated afterward. And deactivated. Steve, I have something to tell you about my intelligence. Uh-oh. Um. Well. You know. Whenever you're ready. So is this going to keep happening? Yeah, the cloak is going to activate after the sequence is done. So there's no point in trying to activate the cloak when I see someone coming, because that's not going to help us. It's not like you shoot a person by hovering a gun over their image while there's a video sequence playing. That wouldn't happen. Nor would it convince you that this might be the course. It's smart light, half artificial. Is it, though? Is it like half artificial, half science official? Temporal anachronism detected within immediate vicinity. Use evidence chip to locate. All right, let's try it. Manual. Right there. How about here? Or maybe here? This is just a wall. Is this going to do anything? And I've tried holding the mouse button down sometimes, and not at other times. Now, if I can't do it... There are, like, choreographed sword fights going on around us, I just realized. I just realized that. Okay. So... If this is not how it's done... Or if this is how it's done then the area we need to hover over must be rather small. It means I've missed it in this area and missed it in that area too. And there's really nothing to go on. There's nothing that hones you in or anything like that. Oh, I can get closer? Is this a river? Let's try it. And we're swimming. I guess our suit is waterproof. So, what? Now we're over here, so that's good. Could it be that it's one of these bricks, this kind of a thing? That's past water, so it's already dry. Yeah, good logic there, that's probably right. Okay, hang on. We are gonna call up the manual again. Uh, 
and I'm going to read about scanning mode just to make sure I'm not missing something huge. Biochips. Evidence biochip. As you explore the past, blah, blah, blah. These anachronisms of peace and blah, 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 blah. You're looking for. To locate and document the anachronisms, which are not immediately apparent, you will need to use the locate feature of the evidence biochip. When you're in locate mode, your cursor will change to a crosshair. When this cursor is rolled over the anachronism, it will change to indicate that you've discovered its exact location. You can now click to zoom in on the evidence and register it. That's all it says about it. And that you can review it and so on. So, I think... That's it. I don't know... Let's get out of that mode. Can I not turn anymore? Oh. I need to use the proper keyboard. Why would I be able to come over here if it didn't have something to do with... the evidence? I think we need to find a piece of evidence before we really get it. Unless something was broken with the game, which would be both inapparent and bad. Alright, let's head back. Wow, we did some real climbing there. I think this video looks particularly good in the, in the water, though. Wait, what? Now we're getting the warning when we're here. Not when we look this way. Yes, when we look this way. Not this way. Yes, this way. Oh, boy. What does it mean, folks? Okay, let's try a little bit of a pass here. I'll try looking down as well. Let's do a quick once over. Okay. But usually when I... Yes. Oh, hi guys. Those are human-like too. So there's nothing down here either. There's no beep when I look down, that is. I'm glad at least we get the beeps even when I'm not... I haven't equipped the evidence biochip. That's a bit of an affordance. Okay... Well, let's leave it for now then. We'll remember that this is here. Exit. There we go. If you walk forward, do you get a beep? No. Now we're, now we're backtracking. So I think, I just wanted to confirm that I think the area that we've explored is now the extent of our explorable area, short of going through the door. So next, I think we'll go through the door. I'm wondering now if it's possible to get caught here. Okay, so we can't look up and down when the door is open, but we can when it's closed. Where are we now? Some place that deserves its own music. A quasi interior? Some place where you can cook? So there's a human nearby. Let's equip this just in case. Get a pan. You can interact with the pan. <laughs> no, all we can do is interact with this. We can stoke the fire. So I guess that we can heat something? Anytime we play a sound, does it reset the music? Yes, a bellows, that's it. 
ceiling. There's a thing down there. There's water. And we can't go any further than this. So I wonder in this game, do we go back to, do we re return to the point from which we jumped? Or do we t return to the point at which we arrived in the first place and does time replay itself as in Pegasus Prime? Let's have some water. I mean, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so we haven't gone to the fourth place. Why don't we ramp up by going there? Let's save often. Finally, Lexi's choice, exactly. So computer graphics ish. There are humans around here, apparently. Look at the color schemes. It's good. How's breathing? I type as Steve coughs. That about sums it up. No humans detected, but there should be humans in this area, right? Okay, are we going, going to go down onto the fields or are we staying on, on this one pyramid? What have we here? Giant face. Interpret that. Oh, wait, what's this then? Certainly a place of illustration. In we go. Something we can interact with. More of this writing above us. Beneath us only bricks. More of this kind of thing. It must be so meaningful. All right. We can go back. Ah, some kind of indications. I had a down arrow. New game, new song. And look at these little alien TVs. Oh, we can only zoom in to this. Okay, we can, can we shift this? Okay, we're moving them by increments of one. And then 
this guy. So this certainly appears to be a number system, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five. A solid line is five, then five plus one, five plus two, five plus three, five plus four, two fives, two fives plus one, two fives plus two, two fives plus three. Okay. Decoding these though, what are these supposed to be about? These don't strike me as the illustrations of this civilization, but you never know. What do we have to work with here? It's hard, kind of hard to see them. So they all have three legs, but the legs are in different positions. That appears to be maybe a thin horizontal line and two thick vertical lines protruding downwards from it. This looks like three dots and like hair. I don't know if they're, are they my, on the right they're Mayan numerals? Or on the left? a sensible sensible numeral system but these look much more illustrative that's just a, a nose like shape obscure nose shape maybe okay let's come back so above us any clues Hmm, look at this. I recognize that as being one of the illustrations. I don't think they are a base 10 system. I guess you could call that a base five system, but you know, or base 15, depending on what comes after that. There's that, there's this. How many of these are there? That's five, and then nine, and then two more rows, so that would mean 27. But these all appear to look like a different kind of thing from all of these, which appear to look like a different kind of thing from all of these. The entire top row is like a small circle to the left and a large circle to the right. And everything along the top is much more similar. These are all a tall circle to the left. Oh, look at this. That looks like, if I'm really squinting now, that looks like these are numbered, aren't they? For example, this is five plus two, which is seven. And that's three. So maybe we could match some of these with symbols. Here's one bottom row is alien TVs. So, you know, one goes with the cross, for example. There's no like kind of confirmation button though. How many of these are there? Hang on, let's count them. We have 13 numbers on the left, we have 5, 10, 15, 20 objects on the right. Oh, we can move them up too, that's nice. Okay, so we have one match with this, right? Was I right that there are 20 of them? My new worlds may be base 20, actually. Uh-huh. So, what I kind of feel like I need is a button that says, do this, once I've configured these gears. Hey, dude. I don't think we interact with you, though. So, did we check what happens if we go all the way around the back of this thing? I thought I looked at every what are called decision points. You never know what might be a clue. And it looks like we are confined to this one area.
The striking thing about this is this shape. I'm wondering, you know, this looks like something coming through a wall, so I'm wondering if it has like, you know, you press the thing through the wall and then something else happens inside. Or could this be the shape of the interior of the place? Looking up. These symbols look rather similar to what we saw indoors as well. Oh. Well, there's something we missed. Oh no, a human is only 500 meters from us. Okay. Uh, did I miss other staircases going down as well then? Looks like there might be one to the left here as well. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's no staircase here, I see. But there is one here. <gasps> what? No. Blatantly disregarding warnings that he was approaching primitive peoples, Agent 5 proceeded into a populated area of Chichen Itza. Upon seeing such a strange being, the natives immediately dropped to their knees in homage to the god that came from the pyramid. Agent 5 decided to stay a while. That was the cause of death. Look, this is us. We have altered all history, but we have 200 points now. We've apparently solved one puzzle. Which puzzle did we solve? I don't know which puzzle we solved. So we can't just go back in this game. We have to actually restore a game. How to become a god. Okay, so thankfully we didn't do too much there. Let's re-jump to Chichen Itza. But also, yeah, human 500 meters away. And they couldn't see us when we were up elevated above the ground in front of a light background. But they could see us when we hit the ground. And also, we could see no one from anywhere. <clears throat> oh, uh, by the way, the deal with the oxygen is that, according to the manual, the jumpsuit has a rebreather, which captures oxygen when you're in oxygen and stores it. And then when you go out of oxygen, it starts using up that oxygen. And then you can replenish it just by going back into oxygen. So that's what was happening there. That's why there are no oxygen tanks this time. So apparently we just are not allowed to go down the stairs. So what do we do next? Do you think it's about just setting the two gears in the right place and letting go? Here he is. Hello, old chap. Thanks for saying hi uh, just before we ended for this morning. It's been a while for me. And you caught me at a time when I am awake. Apparently Chichen Itza was the most populous city in Dagger. Well said, Lexi. Maybe, do we need to use something to connect these things? We don't have much to work with. We have an arrow and a grappling hook. The only idea I have other than this is to use try using the grappling hook to reach the Saturn station when we're floating in midair like that. I think I've been aware of you lurking, Dagger. That's why I said thanks for saying hi. Hmm. New game for us this morning. So we could try any number of these. I wonder if there's... Another indication, perhaps these other symbols that rest above these guys indicate, like, this is the correct one, or this is the correct one. 
I visited here on my honeymoon. Looks the same, bringing back lovely memories. Oh, I see. You visited Chichen Itza in real life. Yes, it probably looks identical, as far as I can tell. Well, we can try seven and the one that looks like the continents of the Earth. I mean, we could just try all of them. Maybe we can do that next time if we have nothing else. That would be this one like this. Oops. And there's nothing else here we can activate. Right. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's more up here. Nothing that really helps us though, is there? And up here? Oh. Here is an actual alien. But it is an upside down one with two thick lines. Hmm. Maybe we just need to find the one alien with three legs at the bottom and input that. Did I not choose seven? Oh, that's not seven. You're right. Thank you, Lexi. There we go. Me! So maybe there's just like one alien hiding in here somewhere which is oriented correctly and, you know, I just haven't seen it. 